Maybe your problem is not unemployment. Maybe you have a job already, but then you are thinking, how do I get that extra income? Or maybe the job you are doing right now give you a lot of time at home and you are asking yourself, how can I get that extra income working from home? Or maybe you just stay home or stay home. In 2017, the job I was doing gave me a lot of time to spend at home and I came with a plan why don't I make this extra income from home? This is how I did it. If you want to work from home, that means you have to stay home or maybe you have to stay home. That's make my first rule, be at home. You can't work from home if you are not at home. So if you really want to work from home, then you have to start by spending more time home, limiting the time you spend with friends, which is not productive. And you have to stay home so that you can just think clearly what you want to do staying at home. I mean, just be at home to work from home. Being at home and working from home means you have to get a separate working area in your house, a defined work area which will take you away from all distractions. So you don't get time to watch TV, play video game, or maybe play with your dog, if you have a dog. Your separated work area in your home could be your kitchen, your bedroom, your garage, depending on the kind of job you are going to do at home. Once you have get a defined work area, then you move on to number two, that is get the right accessories. Nowadays, technology is the only thing that is making working from home as flexible as it could ever be. And fortunately for you, you don't need much. All you need is a pen, a notebook, internet, and a smartphone. Regardless of what you choose to do from home, these tools will be very essential to the effectiveness of your work. And once you have all these tools gathered, you know that you can't do a job without the specific type of job you want to do. And that leads us to our number three, choose your product or service. When you are thinking of choosing a product or service, then you have to be very, very critical and careful about it because that is what the whole business runs around. You have to choose something which is needed. You have to also choose something which is very difficult to get. And you have to also choose something that is very affordable to the customer buying from you. When you are choosing and you don't choose something which is needed, something which people would want to buy, then there's no point in starting at all. So you have to just be careful. You don't have to choose anything at all and start doing from home. You have to make sure that you are choosing something which people are actually interested in getting or is a need to the people. And secondly, you have to also choose something which is very difficult to get. It shouldn't be difficult for you to get. That is why it's your job. You have to find a way of getting it. But then the people who are going to buy from you, those people shouldn't get it easily. Hello. Oh, please, no, no, wait, wait, um, please, this onion here is the best in the market. Oh, yes, it's only 12 CDs. Oh, he hello, he hello. It shouldn't be something that anybody can walk to the corner shop and buy. It should be something very difficult to get or maybe time consuming for people to search or maybe difficult to prepare or any of those things. If it's easy to get, you don't have to consider it at all. And one of the most important thing you have to also consider is the affordability of what you are trying to choose. Whatever you are choosing should be very affordable to the person who is going to consider buying from you. If it's not affordable or if it's expensive to buy from you, why do you think anybody at all would decide or consider buying from you? So you have to make sure that you are choosing something which is affordable. Aside it being needful and also difficult to get, then it should be affordable as possible. So the person would have no option than to maybe buy from you because of your price. Considering this, you can just widen your thoughts. You can be a counselor. You can choose to counsel people on phone. You can choose to be a consultant. Maybe people would call you and consult you on the things that you are much, much knowledgeous about. It can also be food. If you do really know how to prepare food and you can deliver it to people. It can also be used phones or maybe phones in general. I'm saying used phones because it's, it's, 
very very easy for anybody at all to get a brand new phone from across any but sometimes used phone are something you can get at a cheaper price and maybe sell at a profit and one of the things that really really do well or you might consider is fashion though it's very common a lot of people do that but since there are a lot of people out there who consume and consume and consume and don't stop buying you can consider fashion or anything but then you have to really really choose something that best suit your situation and after you have considered the type of products or service you want to do how do you get it known that leads us to our number four you have to create a platform you can't sell if you don't have the customers to sell to so you have to create a page use whatsapp facebook instagram zoom whichever social media platform you see fit you can also talk to people when you meet them maybe your church anywhere you see people gather any meetings any whatsapp group every opportunity that you get to broadcast your intention you have to keep telling people you have to find a more formal and easy way of telling people you can make videos you can create audios you can create memes or you can create messages and share across board to make people known about what you are doing and talking about the social media you can also spend a little money to promote it nowadays it's very difficult for facebook or instagram to tell people about your page if you are not willing to advertise so you have to be willing to maybe just buy just one dollar you can do something maybe ten dollars which is equivalent to say let's say 58 cities to promote your video or your audios or your messages on the social media and it will also go a long way to help your cause you can also tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and the list go on and on and on. make your intentions known people don't do business with people they like they do business with people they know for example if you are considering buying a sim i'm sure the first thing that will come into your mind is mtn Vodafone and those ones that you've heard of and it's because they keep telling us they keep advertising they keep communicating to us that this is what they do likewise when you are choosing to work from home nobody would automatically get to know that this is what you do from home so you have to keep on telling people through any means that you can possibly find so as you are creating so much awareness and you keep on telling people this is what I do and you are trying to make your intentions aware it lead us to one of the most important points number five be ready you don't have to sit and wait for people to contact you before you start making preparation to serve them you have to always be ready once you start or decide on the product you want to serve to people you have to always be ready to make sure that any person who would contact you from the time you are making your intention or you are broadcasting your intention to people the person can be served so once you start you have to be ready for your first customer that comes in you know businesses survive on recommendation and your first impression is as much as important as your last impression so you have to be prepared for the person who come in remember the first people who come and buy for you are your next sales agents they are going to tell people how well you treat them how fast you treat them and how ready you were for them so you can't just go around telling people about what you do and they contact you and you say not available not available not available they are just going to forget you in just a jiffy or maybe they are going to think you are not serious but when people contact you on your product you have to be sure that you give them a lot of information on your product you have to actually keep your source information to your chest that means wherever it is that you get your products whatever it is that you do to get your product done or what you put together to make your service shouldn't be the information you are giving to the person who contacts you but then you have to give them information on the product you are having you have to tell them how your product is going to benefit them in recent times people based on information to decide on which item to buy or not so the item that give them exact information would enhance them to make a very good decision whether they should buy from you or they should buy from the next available supplier so you have to really really give the customer a lot of information and that is part of you being ready whatever you choose to do make sure you have a lot of information you learn about it nowadays information is basically free if you don't know anything about it search about it and gather your information so anytime any person contacts you 
give the person as much as information so that the person can make a quick decision. As part of giving your customers a lot of information, you have to make sure you speak their language. For English, press 1. You can blend with it, you can cook with it, it has a lot of future. At least you understand me. Hello? Hello? For 3, press 2. Oh, oh, that be, that be, that be, that be, that be, that be, that I'm a person which I say, I am fast, oh, I am to send the canica, any canica get to work. Hello? If say a tree and a nipanitia, you don't have to be on phone speaking English, making things complex for them to decide or to understand. And you'll be on the take cast an hour kind of. So for the customer to be able to understand what you're saying, you have to make sure that if you can speak the customer's language, then you have to speak it. And this in, in most cases help the customer to feel like they really really understand you and they are more likely to buy from you than any other person. Let's say you happen to be ready, you give the customer a lot of information and you are fortunate enough they buy from you. Number six is what you do next. Arrange for a delivery. It could be Uber, Boat, Yango, Motorcycle or a local taxi driver. Depending on the type of product you choose to sell, you have to arrange for the products that you are selling to be delivered to the person who is buying it as fast as you can. You have to also be very careful when you are dealing with delivery and pricing your product. I would recommend that when you are pricing your product, make it separate from the delivery costs. If you actually choose to deliver for free for any reason, that is a plus to you. But in most cases, I recommend that you separate the price of the product from the delivery cost so the customer will not think your product is too expensive. Make it clear to the customer that this is the price of the product and this is how much it costs to be delivered. And this, I think, will make it very simple and clear for the customers to differentiate between how much your product costs and how much it costs when you are delivering the product. Now, let's say you've considered all these six things I've said, but you are still not seeing any improvement or you are just thinking that this thing this guy is saying is not worth it. That leads me to my number seven be patient in this kind of business or any business at all patient is what wins you have to be very consistent in what you do put in the effort put in the hard work but then you have to be patient for the results to come nothing good comes easily so if you are thinking of doing something which is worth sustaining then trust me it's going to take quite a time for you to get a very reasonable results so you have to be very patient with it take it slow and put in the efforts, put in the extra efforts, and it will definitely pay not sooner, but eventually you will start ripping something from it whilst you're waiting for your next big job. My name is Mustafa Morphy Mubarak, and you can call me Coffee Morphy for short. And this is Wisdom Formula. Over here, we believe everything is possible once you have the formula to convert your knowledge into wisdom. So maybe you are watching this video whilst you are staying home, or maybe you should stay home to watch this video. I thank you so much for passing through this video and spending your time to watch this video. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, consider clicking the subscribe button and also click the notification button so anytime I post any good video like this, it will give you a notification that, hey, office video is here. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Don't just watch this video, practice it. Stay at home and work from home. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.